Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. I know you guys have been having some issues with shooting. A lot of people have. Some people think it's a jump shot. Some people think it's a time. And I'm going to tell you, it's, it's a... It's a little bit of both. The first thing that you gotta know is that my record is trash because I play with nothing but randoms. I don't have a set team to play with just yet, but we'll be getting that right later on. And uh, this game is pretty much even, man. You know, my guy is a two-way playmaker. I'll show y'all all the build and all that. So y'all, I mean, not two-way playmaker. I'm sorry, two-way sharpshooter. I'll show y'all everything while well, I'm a point, so I'm a best build and all that good stuff. But the best, this, this video ain't even about all of that. This video is about what I feel like is the best jump shot for taller guys. The best jump shot for taller guys is Paul George, man. You guessed it. You all, you already knew, man. Like, look, I've been using Paul George for the last three years on my 6'9 player. I got a 6'9 small forward with two-way sharpshooter. And uh, Paul George has not done me wrong yet. Paul George is the simplest jump shot in the game. You wait, he turns his wrist over. Once he turns it over, you let it go early. The way that this game goes, you would rather be early than be late or even really on time. Uh, if When you're letting it go, if you're letting it go about 75% there or whatever, you'll see right here, well, is he going? am I going to get a chance to shoot? That was a contested shot. I shouldn't have done that. But uh, you know, now that we got that, that miss out of the way, the rest of this game about to be a breeze. But uh, as soon as he turns, what you want to do is let it go. Get that out of here, man. As soon as he turns his wrist over, that's when you really want to let it go. And you want to, all right, look, check it out. Trays up, green bean, money team, splash down. Dude bearing down on me, I don't care, man. As soon as he turns his wrist over, do it a little bit early if you're starting to feel the lag or whatever. But if you get it between 75%, oh, pull up, green bean, money team, drink. If you get it between 75% and about 80%, you're going to hit the shot 100% of the time. I don't understand why it is with 2K, the closer it is, the better chance you have to miss it. If you see it about 90% or whatever, like the first shot I took, you're going to miss that green bean, money team. But as long as you can get it and you can time it right there, you'll be good, man. Like I said, my guy's a 6'9 sharpshooter. It looks a lot shorter than that. I don't know what, what height looks like that in the game. But um, I was thinking, you know, I could have just strung together. Trades up, green bean, money team, splash down. I could have strung together a bunch of, of edits of me doing this, man. But I'm just like, if it's not all from the same game, then why? Why not? Why would I even want to do that? Because I feel like it's deceptive when somebody edits a montage and just shows you hitting them hitting shots over a bunch of games. And then it's like, you okay, that might have been the one green that you had from a one for five game. Let me give you guys, I felt like, let me give you guys a video, uh, you know, where I actually shot well with it. And, and I think everything I shot here was green except for one shot and, and the one miss I had, obviously. But if you're struggling to find a jump shot, like I said, Hot spots don't matter in this game, man. You can get them. I, I I can't imagine that they would hurt, but if you get your hot spots, I would just say there'll just be a bonus on top of whatever. I don't know how you can do it. Swante said he's working on a way to get those hot spots, so whatever he's going to do, uh, I'm just going to do that and copy that. Green, oh, oh, oh. cash, trades up. Splash down. Okay, that, that wasn't that wasn't green, but you know it is what it is. Like I said, normally that, that shot right there is a is just a cold miss. If you get it like 90 for whatever reason with 2K, it's like that 98% uh black is is a brick. But um but 75% is is it's been a hundred percent for me. But uh, you know, Swante said he's gonna look at a way to get the hot spots and all of that. So you gotta keep your IQ up in this game, man. They chasing me now, so I, I can just do what I need to do. Give me my A. But um so once they said he'll be looking for a way to do it. And uh, Trey's up, Green Bean! Money team, splash down! He said he's looking for a way to get the hot spots and all of that. I can't imagine that hot spots make that much of a difference, you know? Um, because I'm able to shoot like I'm able to shoot right now, so I, I really don't know, man. I mean, you could get your hot spots. You could see how that helps. But I'm just going to tell you straight up, you don't really need them. Or at least I don't need them. Maybe you guys do. I don't know. Uh, if you're having difficulty shooting, though, this is a good jump shot to start off with. It's a free jump shot. It's Paul George. And, uh, I mean, I swear by it. I have sworn by it ever since two years ago when I watched Cope Gotti video uh, on NBA 2K16. Cope Gotti said, Paul George so wet at the park. I said, if it's so wet for him, it's got to be God-like for me. I mean, who else is putting out a video? Like, even if that's just one game. Who else is even putting out videos of gameplays or streaming, you know what I'm saying, other than annoying, where, well, you know, they actually getting buckets. 
This time last year, it was a whole bunch of videos where people was getting buckets with sharpshooters, and, and right now nobody's doing that. And that's because I, I don't know if they just can or they're just having too much fun, fun playing the game. I don't know. But uh, we have those guys scoreless, man. I have a two-way sharpshooter. D has a two-way slasher, so it, it really wasn't going to be fair for them until those guys get their stuff up. And the only shot that we missed was uh, the one that I missed. But five for five from three in bad, and the one that I missed, I deserved to miss because it was covered. Um, like I said, Paul George, as soon as he turns his wrist over, that's when you want to let it go, man. And uh, you're going to hit it most of the time, but you'd rather be a little bit early with it. So let it go a little bit early. If you get it in that 75% to 80% range, it's going to be cash. I'm telling you, 75 to 85% is a green. Anything over that, if it's not green, it's not going to go in a high percentage of the time. But anyway, man, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope this helps somebody out. Try out Paul George. You can create it in the Jump Shot Creator or you can um, you can create it in the Jump Shot Creator or you can go and just buy it straight up. But I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! 360 out this mug. Hey, and, and also, let me know what kind of other videos you guys need to see, man. If you're having trouble with anything, let me know. I'll do a build video on this guy, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just get that going. But I'm out of here. Peace.